life on the highest principles that they can possibly live them on. Don't come to church on Sunday and say one thing and do, do one thing and then go home and don't even try to get rid of the man that you're living with. Don't even try to think about, you know, owning your own car or, or paying the car note. Don't, you know, uh, many times uh, as Christians, we forget that God's not going to do everything. God, Jesus has already done what he's going to have to. Uh, we have to have big goals and we have to have big dreams and great dreams. We have to put all of our heart in the thing that we're going to do for God. That we can't just uh, um, get saved and still try to live the same life that we lived before. That we literally do have to make some adjustments and we need to make some changes. Uh, the life that we had before you you know, if that life was working, you really didn't need Jesus. If that life was really sustaining you, if you were, if you really had peace in your heart, then it's, in many instances, there's no reason for you to even uh, think about your eternal life or your eternal salvation. But for most of us, or for many people, uh, I, there was something missing. There was something that was not there. Uh, we didn't have the peace that we needed. We didn't have the dreams or the goals. They were not manifesting the way that we wanted them to manifest. Or if they manifested, we still didn't have the joy and the peace. So we have to have big dreams and big goals, not just for cars and houses and lands, but we want to know, God, what is your big dream for my life? What is your big goal for my life? He may want to use you all over the world. He may want to use you on your job, but we have to, first of all, we have to have, we have to act like an eagle. We have to have high goals, big dreams. Uh, no, no, uh, I was reading about the, the eagle and the eagle, uh, the bald eagle in particular, builds a nest of about one ton. That's a, that's a weighty nest. And uh, it's about 13 feet deep and it's about 8 feet wide. That is a huge nest. You know, I'm used to looking at the little nest uh, in, in my tree right outside my front door that basically I can hold it in the palm of my hand and I can hold the little eggs in the palm of my hand. In, in the palm of my hand. But the eagle Eagle Christian has big dreams and big goals and it for, for the reasons that it has to design it that way that's what the Eagle Christian does it lives in the high places it, it it doesn't live down in the low places it may come low and get food out of the water but it flies high it goes as high as it can go the second thing is the Eagle Christian it builds his nest in the heights well I just talked about the weight of their of their nest and how big big it is. You know, they, they build this huge nest. And in some instances, uh, it says that the wingspan is almost six feet in and of itself of one eagle. So if you get two eagles in a nest, you probably need a good 13 feet uh, uh, span, you know, so that they can spread out and have some room in there. But it builds its nest in the heights, which means that you need to build your life on high principles. Don't try to build your life uh, on what you see on the television. Build your life all according to the word of God. And call those things in. Begin to push the enemy back off of our money and back off of our resources and back off of our health and back off of our children and stand. Gird up our loins and go to battle so that we might have everything or possess the land that we're standing on, that we're walking on. We're not weak, wimpy Christians that stand back and cry about every little thing. Oh, the devil hit me. Oh, this happened. Oh, they said this about me on the job. Oh, they're talking about being the city. Oh, look.